Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. I'm going to keep it real with you. There's a lot going on back in L.A. And we're going to unpack everything that's happened. But we are here in London. And I am with Paige Cameron. Hey. And Ty Collins. Hey, y'all. We're not going home for a minute. We're living, we're living our European summer now. Like, we're not for fucking sure. leaving. We're going to get into why we're out here in London and what's going on. But essentially, we're in a contract, love. Ain't it true? Shout out Studio 71. Hey, y'all. And so we're out here in London. We're not leaving Europe for a while. We're not in Europe yet. We're, we're in the... Where are we? UK, I think. Is so. UK a part of Europe? Yeah. No, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Uh. I don't know. We're, we're out here, and um, essentially we have an episode of Cancelled to turn in every single week, and we want the people to be happy. I'm not trying to go home. You guys know this. I'm, I'm sincerely not. Likewise. I'm and not. Listen, I'm like, for the viewers back home that miss Brooke, I understand, and I'm so sorry, but this is the new crew. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> so what we're doing today is a very, very special episode of Cancelled that, and this might be the entire wrong geographical term, but here's what I'm going to call it. This is a bi-coastal episode of Cancelled. <laughs> Which is probably, no, but you're probably right. I don't know. I don't know. Bi-continental episode right. of Cancelled? Because it's like continents, like different literal continents. Right. Damn, right. that's smart. Well, that's why you have a degree. You have a degree right. too. And I don't know shit about shit. <laughs> and yeah, you know. Um, so what we're gonna do today for this episode of Cancelled is the first half is going to be me in what I think is Europe, maybe Asia. Maybe I don't know where we are today with Paige and Ty. And the other half is going to be Brooke at home in L.A. with whoever she wants doing whatever she wants. And we're going to carry canceled like that for this episode. Good luck Absolutely. to her. Honest. Yeah, she's given that liberty. <laughs> we'll see what she does with it. Because we I better be like the first half because we're like a first half team. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Why are we a first half team? I don't know. I just feel like second <laughs> half, we like we slack a little. Like we're a first half team. Brooke, you got to carry the second half. Well, here's the thing. Brooke texted me yesterday and she was like, because essentially I pitched this idea to everyone. Like, it, you know, canceled. Is a, it's, a, it's a union. We all have to agree on what the episode's going to be. I care about everyone agreeing. And so I was like, I'm not coming home. So it's either no episode or right. it's half us in London and half them at home, you know? So Brooke has been texting me, like, pitching guests, right? Do you want to know her only two guest pitches? Can I guess? Yes. Joey Joy. No, but <laughs> And we have to get into that. We do. He was like begging to be on Cancelled. Yeah, no. Did you see that? Yeah, you were telling me a little bit about that. Yeah, like Joey Joy texted Brooke and I in a group chat and he was like, please let me come on Cancelled and tell my side. I was like, first of all, you little clout mongrel. That is just Monster. insane no. behavior. It, it, I didn't love you, Joey. It's actually a little, a little mind blowing to me. I don't, I mean, but like we love, we. Mm. Wait, but I had to guess. I know one of them like was Ashley, but was that a joke? Her only two guest pitches were Ashley Schwann and Jeff Wittick. So she might eat us up, but I hope it cuts to her and Natalie and Lila. I pray, <laughs> honestly. It's going to be her and Patty. Be, so. <laughs> oh, well, Patty's our house her. mom. We love um, her. We do love her. But we are in London, and again, we're not going home. And I've always said the two of you are two of, I mean, obviously I do this podcast with Brooke. I think she's the funniest person in the world. But if there was a okay. secondary <laughs> Guest, you two are the funniest people in the fucking world. That's you can't be. I'm like be. from time. And I've been I've trying been. to get Paige and Ty as guests on Cancelled, but you both avoid it at all costs. Here's much. here's the thing, and I feel like Ty and I are the same way. I feel like we slay. We're so funny off camera. As soon as you start vlogging, it's like any thought, any joke I've ever had just immediately <laughs> shuts off. Like mm. mind blank, no words come out. Absolutely. Not used to the scene, babes. <laughs> Are you dated the scene? You've been in some vlogs. Ooh, that was a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Saying dating Amari for two years was a stretch. No more Amari, but so don't funny. talk. We talked about this. This was not the discussed way. in the pre-interview. Ty, <laughs> <laughs> you know my favorite thing about you is that you will give anyone a nickname that just comes to mind for you. Absolutely. Like calling Amari Amari B. Joan. Mm -hmm. Where does that even come I from? I don't know. Like Junie B. Jones. Mental is that illness. where that comes from? <laughs> Is oh, that Junie B. Jones, yeah. Is that why Amari's Amari B. Jones? Yeah, but sometimes you're treating him and uh, like we don't know. Yeah, so so he, before we started rolling, he was like, Tana, I love you, but there's going to be no talk about Amari B. Jones. And I go, well, so can we talk about Amari Stewart? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. But I your nicknames are your thing. 
Yeah, for sure. Yes. Kind of sweet, no? No, I think it's so sweet, but it's so funny. You take one nickname and then make like 20 different renditions <laughs> of the same name. Like she's Trina Minaj, she's Trina Mattel, she's Trixie Mattel. What were you, what are some of the ones you've come up with on this trip? Oh, they were good. What were they? I don't know, but I could come up with some new ones. I love Trinket Minjaj. Trinket Minjaj. Like, I'm happy with Tana Mojo. Tampon Malone. Anything Tampon Malone. <laughs> it's just the first and know. last letters. No, yeah, it, yeah it, it, as long as it's first and last letters. But it's so funny because I'll be like in REM sleep and I'll wake up to you being like, Trinket Malello, <laughs> do, do you want breakfast? Like, but it's never Tana. The letter thing is like niche to you. I yeah. Feel like. like, I don't call you like, I do call her Peggy. Yeah, we'll get every time Uber. we get in an Uber, wait, you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting in an Uber under Paige's name and no matter what, make for Peggy, just so then she like feels uncomfortable. <laughs> it's um, every time. Who was calling you Peggy for a long time? And oh, Nune! Nune, the girl who does our lip filler. Like we've known, we've known her for fucking five years at this point and she will never call you Paige. She's Armenian. She'll go, Peggy, every do you time. want Botox or not? My nickname for you forever was, so you're Ty Collins, but that so I, I started calling you Petra Collins. Right. And I was calling you Peter Collins like forever, and said, and then Peter Collins developed into what? Peter Parker, Peter, Peter Piper, Peck to pick a pickle peppers, Petra, Petra, your Petri go-to. dish, mm-hmm. like Peter, like whatever. And so this whole time, I thought Petra Collins was this pop singer, <laughs> Kim Petras, Kim right? Petras, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. For I'm months. sorry. That's why it's canceled. Like Kim Petras is sending a fucking cease and desist, you know. For sure. And then I found out Petra Collins is this like esteemed videographer, <laughs> and we were just watching this. I was sobbing finding that out, like just thinking that I was calling you this pop singer that doesn't exist. And we just watched the Olivia Rodrigo vampire music video, and at the end it goes Petra Collins I'm like, or Petra. You did that. Oh. No, I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like of embarrassment. What's going on? Wait. We forgot our bit. No, no I no, didn't. No, no, no. I've been waiting. <laughs> You've been waiting. Ready to cue in? But okay, guys, like- can I just be so real with the canceled audience? We are so obsessed right now with the idea of if we live completely different lives, being uh, an acapella group. Right. Like Pitch Perfect. Yeah. Can In we fact, try? We're gonna show you guys. Are you? Are you? <laughs> 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 I'm like, okay. buckle in. All right. Okay. Are you the singer? Yeah. Am I the singer? You have to. You're the host. Right. Okay. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Zoom, 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 Sorry, we Brooke. love you, Brooke. <laughs> love We're you, honestly girl. just scared. We're scared. No, of the I'm sorry, no. We know I had to give them like a super pep. I had to give them like a super pep talk because here's the thing: they're sorry, they're being friends. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. Okay, they're acting really nice about this, but there's a gun to the back of both of their heads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like, hey, do we go on our European vacation and evade the terrible things in LA? And y'all do canceled as Brooke. Or we go home. Exactly. So you guys are doing great with the gun to the back of your head. And I feel right. like you've asked me to come on a few times now, and I've just been so nervous. I'm not kidding. One hate comment. I'm crumbling. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> but actually, if you're gonna come at me for anything, make it not about my looks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. It's so funny because you and I are the same. That we're pessimistic ass cunts. But then the second someone could literally be like, "Paige had a hair out of place," and she's like, "Why would they say that?" Dude. Like, People come up to you all the time and they're like, you're so funny in Tana's vlogs. Like, you're so funny. Like, blah, blah, blah. All the comments are like, Paige was the funniest person in this video. Tana should die. And then one person will comment like, I didn't really like Paige's earrings with her outfit. And she's on the ledge. I got a blast. I'm not, I'm just not cut out for that. (laughs) At all. But it's like, you could sit here and be like, you are so stupid, unfunny, worst person I've ever met. Call me ugly. (laughs) (laughs) I feel that though. I'm going to lose it. Who wants better sex? And who wants to start having better sex immediately? The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a must. Free shipping and rush processing on your entire order. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy, all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free and fast. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. That's 50% off one item, Free shipping with rush processing. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. 
It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code TANA at checkout. That's TANA, T-A-N-A, at adamandeve.com. This exclusive offer is specific to the canceled podcast, so be sure to use this code TANA to get your discount, 100% free shipping, and get it fast with rush processing today. Use code TANA. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's episode. Should we talk about <laughs> Not Sidemen, <laughs> but other Oh, I was ready for Sidemen. Well, let's, let's no, start yeah. with my the other My old assistant. There's a I'm going to tell a story, and they're just going to be here for this. And it's, it's a terrible, terrible dark story. But I'm going to tell the story, because it happened to me, and it was a thing, right? So one of my first assistants, her name was <laughs> and I love her. We are great friends to this day, right? And so I hired her as my assistant because she was my tour mom. And a tour mom is essentially like you go on tour and the tour company, they'll hire a tour manager and like a security, a merch person. But the tour mom kind of like will make sure everyone has their food and like gets to their hotel room on time and is like there at the show. And it's usually like a, a girl and she's comforting and like uh-huh. she's she's there to kind of be the mom to everyone. You know what I mean? Slash assistant. And yeah, just help out. Like uh-huh. she's getting paid to kind of just help out to make the show and everything getting to each city like run smoothly. And so she was my tour mom. And then at the time, you know, I had nothing going for me. Not a parent in sight. <laughs> Not a damn thing. And so we hired as the tour mom. And then she slays her job as a tour mom. And after the tour is over, I hire her as my assistant. And she's just a character. And we've talked. And she, you have to her. explain like the neutral bullet of it all. <laughs> for sure. Because for sure. it just like it just really gives you like context of who this person is. She is one pound. She's one pound. I look at photos of her to this day. Like, should I get on the goddamn treadmill? <laughs> should I pick up her lifestyle? Maybe she eats this extreme paleo diet, which in my opinion is just a different form of anorexia. For sure. <laughs> She's just eating nuts. Mm. It's like lunch. And I'm like, consisted of a Nutribullet. Well, yeah. So she <laughs> would take a suitcase everywhere she went on tour with me or everywhere she went as my assistant and she would pack nothing. I'm talking like her check luggage would be like one floral top, one pair of jeans, a sneaker, a heel, a dress, concealer. Very natural girl, you know? Mm -hmm. And then she'd take a carry-on everywhere she went. And the only thing in the carry-on was a blender. (laughs) Like, I'm talking, like, Paige, imagine. Baby, I bring, like, five suitcases. Yes. So I'm sure most of you know, if you follow along with my life, Paige is my executive assistant. She is me. I'm like, 2.5 years. Two and a half years working with me is actually so fucking crazy. That's crazy. It's way crazier for you. (laughs) I've got to stay in these shoes, baby. You're you're staying. I know. We're for lifers. We are. We've become like so best friends through it all, you know? But I think that like our relationship is very real, you know? Like it's it's very much like you're going to be like, bitch, I need two suitcases. Like you want me to go to Europe for two weeks? Like I need my shit, you know? I'm not packing no one's neutral bullet. (laughs) (laughs) And so all she would take everywhere was a carry-on with a blender so that when she got where she was, like London. Imagine you're flying to London and the only thing you have is a carry-on with a blender so that you can like blend your green juice like it makes right. no fucking sense <laughs> no nope. um so we were flying to london one time and i don't know what the fuck i was doing here a show something and we get to london we get to the hotel room and here's the thing this girl's on this paleo diet right so all she's eating is nuts and green juice that she blends in her blender from her carry-on and she was she was a good assistant. Like I'm not like negating that at the time. She fit the capacity of my needs. She could never run companies like you do, slay boots. <laughs> but CEO. we we do we get to London, and she loved her Ambien. She Wait, loved. Is Ambien like a Xanax? Is it like a? It's what Jeff takes. But is it for like anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, Jeff has so many problems. Like, what does it? Like, he needs more than Ambien. Maybe, like, what like, does that target? Yeah, like, he needs that, lithium. Like, anxiety? Um, or no, it, it's, like, a oh, right. it's a sleeping pill. It's a sleeping pill. So it's similar to Xanax. No, though. Like, the last time I took an Ambien was actually with her. And I slept for 72 hours. Oh. That, Straight. That's, that's People bad. thought I was dead. Mm-hmm. People thought I was dead. Like, not for joking. Sure. Like, it's like, it's the strongest sleeping pill money can buy. It's like for people with crippling insomnia. I don't really think oh. anyone needs more than a quarter of an Ambien. If you need more than a quarter of an Ambien, you need morphine. You need God. You need, you need a psych ward. <laughs> like, for real, bro. Uh-huh. You need fucking God. And, but you take Ambien, it can become addictive. It makes you go to sleep. 
Mm. But the same thing is like Xanax, like how Xanax makes you go to sleep. But if you stay up past it, you're just kind of hooty. It's like when you take Benadryl and like you like fight through the tiredness exactly. and then you see the hat man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. But it's 10 times worse than that. Maybe a hundred. Uh-huh. Like you're fucked the fuck up. If you stay up through the sleepiness of Ambien, you are like fucked the fuck Ten, up. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> like, Right in that area. <laughs> Ty always makes fun of the fact that I'm like so, like I have no concept. At all. Of anything. Uh, of anything. Honestly, no. <laughs> the other day we were outside on a balcony for apparently what was one minute. <laughs> Tiana and I come back inside from the balcony and she's like, oh my gosh, like Ashley, Bella, we have been looking, analyzing this pool for like the past six minutes. And they were like, you guys were outside for I literally 30. 30 seconds. <laughs> I have no concept of time. At all. It was worse than, well, we were also so high. Right. Me me writing that <laughs> off is my oh, lack of concept that, of time. I've never had fair. one. Right. Um, okay, so the Ambien. So she took a lot of Ambien. A lot of Ambien. And she was like, I, I write this. I have sleeping problems, so I take this Ambien, right? But then she'd stay up off of it. So her, Jordan, my old manager, Ashley Schwann, and I were in a hotel room in London. And America is very much prepared for suicide. <laughs> Do we? I don't know. Like, the highest suicide rate out of like every country. I think we do. People still yeah. find a way. For sure. <laughs> but I'm saying like in America, if you go stay in a high rise hotel, like if you're in New York City and you're in like a fucking hundred right. foot hotel, the windows don't open. Suicide right. prevention. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like like the windows aren't going to open fully. Like you can't jump out. Like they're locked shut. Like they're mm. sewn shut. I don't not imagine a thread needle. Just, yeah. um, but do you know what I mean? Like they, they just don't open, you mm-hmm. know, but in London, yes. people don't kill themselves as often. So certain things like you can go up into a high rise five star hotel and like the windows are going to open fully. Yeah. And so she takes all this ambient and we're laying on the bed and we're all chilling. We're all talking and it's like super late at night. And she's like, she stands up off her like five fucking ambient and keep in mind, she doesn't eat. Almonds ain't going to save you from five Ambien, shorty. She's rocked. <laughs> like she stands up and she goes, guys, I'm going to do it. And we're like, what? And she's the happiest girl in the world. So we're like, what's going on? She walks over to the window. She opens the window and she fully tries to swan dive out of this window. It's actually a trauma dump. I'm trauma dumping right now. And Jordan Marona gets up and does the dash and dizzy. The schedule is busy. Like dashes at her, has to grab her by the legs and drag her back in this hotel room. And I was just sobbing for hours, hours. One of my best friends texted me as we got to London and said, <laughs> don't let Paige pull a d-. <laughs> like, I'm like, the only reason I'm laughing is because I've heard this story. Uh-huh. Like, if this is my first time, I'd be really sh- Sometimes you've got to laugh at some shit, right. you know? Like, and then the it next day, sh- one thing about her, she'd never bring it up. The next day, she was like, what do you want for breakfast, my chicken? I was like, you just a tried psych to- board for you? <laughs> <laughs> you just tried to swan dive out the window? Absolutely terrible. But She's just of, grabbing a little Nutribullet. Speaking of <laughs> She just gets the Nutribullet out. <laughs> She's, like, She's jumping with the Nutribullet. <laughs> <laughs> Live, breathe, die, Nutribullet. This is a Nutribullet ad. Um, that was a part of her diet. She was like, the air is paleo. <laughs> Bible. Um, speaking of <laughs> should we get into that? So we're in London. Yup. <laughs> God, she's so smart. In case you guys did not know, we are in London. <laughs> London. We're in London. Um, and again, alluding to my past stories, it's not that it's not a good city. I just have so much fucking trauma here that I have like written it off as bad. Mm-hmm. Not the best for me. I think but. it might be cursed, honestly. Yeah, like every time I come Wait. here, something bad happens. We've been pretty good. Hmm? <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> she might have pulled the. <laughs> I almost did. Um, fuck my smart. So the reason hot. why the reason why I'm here is because I was shooting a really big project with the side men. Daddies, all of them. I've been saying I want to get a train ran on me. Mm-hmm. That might be the train. Giovanna Plow me. <laughs> we keep bringing up Giovanna Plowman. Because <laughs> Dana doesn't remember shit, but she does remember Giovanna Plowman's name. I could just be like, what's the girl who ate her tampon? Dana will remember that. So she, she, she blew up for like, <laughs> she blew up for like, <laughs> that's like her life. <laughs> like, where is she now? I, I want to know. Hopefully alive. Yeah. It's a girl who ate her tampon. Her name's Giovanna Plowman. Ty keeps making fun of me because I literally don't know the second president of the United States, but I could tell you the bitch who ate her tampon. Anyways. 
Um, <laughs> I can like see her face perfectly in my so mind. So can too. I. Loved her. I, I can't even see my parents' faces perfectly in my mind. But I can see Giovanna Plowman. Yeah, tampon and all. <laughs> in her mouth, crazy. Um, what were we talking about? Um, <laughs> so, um, side men, train okay. man. S side men, train men. Who wants better sex? And who wants to start having better sex immediately? The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a must. Free shipping and rush processing on your entire order. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy, all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free and fast. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. That's 50% off one item, free shipping with rush processing. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code TANA at checkout. That's TANA, T-A-N-A, at adamandeve.com. This exclusive offer is specific to the canceled podcast, so be sure to use this code TANA to get your discount, 100% free shipping, and get it fast with rush processing today. Use code TANA. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's episode. Do you know what's actually so funny just before I get into why we're here? Is that, you know, like a, a tidbit about YouTube, you know? Yeah. Like you'll know things. And I feel like Jeff and I and like other people have like taught you a decent amount. For sure. Like you run the companies. You, you know how to work hard. You're a fucking boss bitch, but you're not like keeping up with all the shit. Other than Trisha Paytas. <laughs> you could tell me her life story. Trisha, I love you. <laughs> so much I start crying. But other than trisha she knows nothing and it's so funny because all weekend like we've been here on the side men's dime like they flew us out here they like they're paying for our room our room service all this shit and Paige will be like should we get eggs and charge it to the nelk boys <laughs> <laughs> what do you call them what you call them what you call the hype, them? The hype, call boys. Them? The hype, hype boys. boys the side men <laughs> like, and they're like the biggest Ever. I'm like, Ten times bigger than me. Is there something called? Hundreds. Boys? I don't know. No, she made that up. Hype house? She was going to the hype house. <laughs> but like even that, Alex Warren boys. and Thomas Petru are sad in comparison to the fucking sidemen. <laughs> sidemen, I love them. So anyways, we're out here because I'm shooting this shit with the sidemen. This dating episode that will probably come out before this episode. I hope. Sure. Wow. Um, 20 versus 1. And so I get a call last week in Malibu. Before everything ends in Malibu, we talked about this on the last episode of Cancel the Bunch of Bad Shit Happened that we'll get into, but I'm in Malibu and I just see Mike Maylock calling me, His con which is never good. <laughs> you never, like, I love Mike Maylock, but I just know that when I answer that call, it's immediate screaming, you know? <laughs> you have to like hold the phone away. <laughs> Absolutely every single time. Yeah. Like terrifying. And I just see Mike Maylock calling me. And it's funny too, because do you know that before Mike was Mike Maylock, he was like, the head of creator partnerships at Love Sack. I literally almost just said heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> heroin addict. Creative director of Love Sack. Do you know like the beanbag chairs. I know that because Olivia worked oh. for him. My roommate. Yes. Anywho. Okay. He was the creative no director for Love Sack, the beanbag chair. Wow. Like he'd text me and be like, do you want a Love Sack? Like, do you want a Love Sack? Like, I'll drop one off to your house. Like, just post That's for it. That's sick. Absolutely. And then Logan Paul just sent him to the moon, and now he's fucking terrible. <laughs> but I'm kidding, Mike. I love you. Mm. Um, so his contact on my phone forever is Mike Lovesack. It will never change. Got to humble him. So I, I see a call from Mike Lovesack. Yep. <laughs> I pick it up. Screen. Tana, you have to get on a plane to London in 12 hours. I go, I'm not your hookers. <laughs> I'm not Lana I'm not Rose. an OnlyFans girl. I, well, I, I am. No, you are. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not those ones. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean I have to get on a plane to London? Do you want a fucking 100,000 OnlyFans subscribers? This video gets 45 million views. You're getting on the Sidemen's channel. The Sidemen wants you on 20 versus 1. You've got to carry for me and Jeff. Carry the team. Jeff's in the background like, go, please keep the lights on. I'm like, fuck you both. 24 hours later, flights are booked to London. For me to go do Sidemen 20 versus 1. I also love KSI to death. I'm excited for the opportunity, you know? Like, it's a huge opportunity, and we will discuss shooting it very shortly. But <laughs> I'm talking to Mike, too, and I'm like, listen, <laughs> I love you. I've never had a good experience in London in my life. Mm. I say this as I'm in London in a beautiful studio and just shot with Saving Grace, Once and everything again, was amazing. We are in London. Yeah. In case you guys are not in, <laughs> we're in London right now, actually. <laughs> this trip is turning my thought process around. This is actually my first good trip to London. Decent, I should say, yeah. but... 
Um, Thank you. I threw a wrench in things. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't pull a. <laughs> you didn't jump out. Um, no, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so, I sort of got it. Like, you just want to kill yourself here. <laughs> I, it, I'm sorry, a, guys. Yeah, energy. Yeah. Maybe this Pause. place is just cursed. Not y'all, though. I love y'all. Yeah, they're amazing. But I'm like, listen, here are my stipulations. I need a lay down seat there. They're not paying me. I'm just going to say that, you know, and normally if I'm going to a video down the street like this, I would want a payment. Of course. Time is money. Maybe I sound prissy. I'm sorry. I'd rather spend the time running my own companies than doing certain things. But I understand that sometimes payment comes in exposure mm -hmm. and I'm fine with that. I just want to make sure that, you know, they were flying me right before I got there. Like they wanted me to fly for 12 hours and then immediately land, get ready and shoot. Right. So I was like, the only way I would ever be able to like be funny or shoot is if I had a lay down seat. And I know those are crazy. It was $17,000 for the two of us to come here. Thank you, KSI. Thank you, KSI. And so we, we just, we make sure everything's set up right, right? And then I call Mike. And I'm like, I'm in this group chat with Mike. And I'm being like, would it be okay if Paige flew first class with me? Mike calls me. Mike, I'm sorry to throw you under the bus. Mike says, Tana, stop asking for what you want. Tell them what you want. And you know what? I love that, though. And I hate to be like a little fem. Well, no, I love to be a little feminist. It's just like the difference between being a woman and being like, um, is it okay if um, can we please um, if if it's like not a hassle? It's so Any true. Any man would be like, get my assistant on a first class lay down seat, or I'm not coming. One hundred percent. Any man in this industry, yeah. would absolutely just direct what they want. And it is such a thing where it's like, um, if it's okay, can I, whatever. And Mike was like, listen, Tana, there are fucking, Sidemen is a $100 million company. They're going to make millions off of this video. Yeah. And I'm so grateful to be the one in it. Let's be real. Like, they, they were deciding between me and... Corinna, wasn't it? I was going to say a blonde girl. <laughs> they were deciding, <laughs> between, they were deciding <laughs> between me and a lot of people. And they, they were, like, so kind to allow me to have the opportunity. Let's be real. It's a huge opportunity for me. It's only been men who have done 20 versus 1. They all get 20 million views plus. Like, I'm stoked to be the first woman to do it and, like, hopefully make them proud. Like, and I love KSI and I'm, I love the side men. I'm excited to get to know all of them. Like, I love it. Like, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, can we get there comfortably, you know? And so then Mike calls me and he's like, Tana, they're a fucking hundred million dollar company. Tell them what you need. Like your, you know, your compensation for this is your travel. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I was like, perfect. Well, just like the way Paige and I like phrase things. It's like, would it be okay if it's, this and this yeah. and this? Right, like, rather than being like, whereas like a man would just be like, I need this, this and this yeah. to do this, that's you know? Correct. But also like, that's the Paris Hilton of it all. Like do business kindly. And then like, I think correct. that's obviously like, don't demand things. Don't be a cunt. Just get what you need. And so they book our flights. And then we become aware that there's so much budget left for our travel. And our flight, I think, when we came across this decision was in 10 hours. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Yes. So we're sitting in my closet of my house, and Paige and I are packing our bags and ties there. And <laughs> it was like... We come up with this fabulous, should I say, idea. Well, we're just po we're pondering the idea, you know? We're like, fuck, like, Ty, should I buy your flight? Like, I want you to come. Like, here's the thing. Like, again, I don't have the best experiences in London. Paige and I go very business. We laugh very hard. But, like, who'd be a fun addition to where we could really hoot and holler in London? You know? Mm -hmm. And Ty was our president of that choice. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And we're like, oh, my God. Like, should you come, Ty? And you're like, I'm down. Here's the thing. We, Amari was like, I'm not down. Ari was like, I'm not going unless I'm first class. Like, everyone's just right. like a bitch about it. Trevi's like, right. I'll come if I buy my flight, but I can't get my own hotel and I have to stay on top of you guys. And if I have to pay a dollar, like, that's going to be bad. Like, everyone's just causing all this drama of, like, they'd, they'd, go the they'd go to London, but it'd be this thing and, like, whatever. And Ty's like, I'm fucking down. I want to come with you guys. Let's go laugh. Absolutely. Paige has the contact <laughs> to Sidemen. And we decide. We, like, weighed this out for a second, no? We were like, what can Ty be? Yeah. Security? Nope. <laughs> Boyfriend? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. That one's fair. You get so mad <laughs> when I when I'm like you like boyfriend, yeah. nope. He's like, why? I'm like, you're gay. You're gay. <laughs> like, you don't want me. Yeah, I, I forget who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so we eventually all come to the conclusion that the most believable thing Ty could be <laughs> is my makeup artist. <laughs> he doesn't even know what blush is. <laughs> That is the thing. Not a damn product in the world. 
And so we text the head of the side men and we say, Tana's so sorry for this last minute thing. What do you even say? I can pull up the text. Read it, please, <laughs> please, please read it. Woo. This is going to be good. <laughs> Again, like in the most like apologetic women way ever. Are you choosing? No, they're going to make way We're more money off now. this video than it costs to send us here. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. KSI told me it was his top five side men videos of all time. I'm, I'm happy this happened. And I think he'd laugh at it. Also, it's like, would You're I do this again? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god! Please, please. I text these guys. If you're if you're listening right now, hold on to your seat so Paige can read this text. <laughs> so this is seven thirty a.m. London time. This must have been I don't know what's nine hours ago. Ten thirty. Like yeah. Yeah. Like almost like eleven. You know I can't do math so. at all. No idea. Finishes with me. rocks rattling. Wow. Anywho, I text this poor girl. <laughs> So I late. said whore girl. I was like, damn, did you just double down? I love her. <laughs> no, I love her. She's this a fucking sweet, angel. Poor girl. And I said, I know this is so last minute, and I don't want to inconvenience you at all, but Tana's wondering if it's possible to bring her hair and makeup artist with us. Originally, he couldn't make it, but he was able to move some things around and make it work. She would love to have him with us, especially for filming. Are there any seats left on the flight? <laughs> and she says, Fab, leave with me. <laughs> And she took care of it. And she got him a flight immediately. <laughs> so Ty, first of all, I'm really sorry. Kim Dow, ASAP, Ashley, Laura Ruggetti, Nicole, Maddie, Alexis Oakley, Alicia okay. Garcia. Yeah. Like my actual hair and makeup team who consists of fucking 10 people. <laughs> you were replaced. Summed up into me. <laughs> summed up into Ty Collins. <laughs> Ooh, we made the hurts. side men we made the side men fly out ty collins as my hair and makeup artist this man has never done hair and makeup on a single person in his life so this is the thing too with the text she's saying like ty like has to be there during the shoot but i don't know how to do touch-ups or anything so that was actually my stressor on the way there i'm like what the hell do i do with this like sponge and what do i put on it to like dap you up. So we land in London. We get in the side men car service. We get to the hotel. I have to shoot in like an hour. So I get ready um, for the longest, hardest day of my life, which I'm going to get into in a second. But we're in the car after we get ready on the way to the actual shoot. And I'm sitting across from Ty. This is all vlog footage, by the way, that will come out in like a year. Um, and I'm sitting across from Ty and I'm teaching him how to pretend to like touch up my eye makeup and put powder on me and do my lip liner and brush my hair and like all this shit so that we can sell the bit <laughs> that Ty is my hair and makeup artist. Mind you, wait. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, mind you though, he doesn't have a makeup kit. It's four products thrown into my purse <laughs> and I'm just carrying no, her purse. I wanted to make it seem even more, I'm holding your purse like, like it's my bag. <laughs> like I had my own special flair on the bag. <laughs> but um... <laughs> Then, so as we pull up, the woman that booked the flight comes out like to greet us, and she's like, I'm so excited to meet you, Ty. She looks gorgeous. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> you know, like, this is my artwork right here. <laughs> and during the entire video, like, Tana would walk away. Like, Paige and I would want to take a shot or something, so we'd, like, follow you upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, for sure. Hilarious. <laughs> for sure. We'd follow you upstairs and then like, but Tana would be doing like her own touch-ups. No, but you and, and me would like. shit my pants. I'd be like, um. They're going to think I'm a fraud. <laughs> no, and it was so funny. Even when I was doing my makeup, I'd be doing my lip liner and I'd be like, Ty, you're doing so good. Right. <laughs> Our code word too to like go take a shot, which I would be like, um, I think Tana needs a touch-up upstairs. <laughs> Bible. Bible. Bible while I was shooting. You Bible. both were just saying, I think Tana needs a touch-up and Ow. going and I taking the tequila shot. I was like, to ask her like. Do you think Tana like needs a like? Should I go up there? She's been up there a minute. <laughs> Honestly. No, and then you and me would just go in the corner, and you'd hand me my products out of the bag, and I would just do it myself. And we'd come back out, and she'd be like, "She looks amazing," and you'd be like, "Thank you so much." <laughs> Thank you. We're, we were right dying there. laughing too at like if this is like what if this is like a potential start to your like hair and makeup. That's career. what my fear honestly is. What if she <laughs> finds me some new clients? And they're like great, like Shay Mitchell. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I just love her. <laughs> what would I do? You I know? know, I'd have to go and do her makeup like Tana Mojo, and then you'd have to take. 
like down to it like have to do it yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you would have to act like you're like coaching someone through it and it's funny too because right now we're booking our flights home and ty is like still classified on the docket of the side men's docket as my makeup artist which is so funny i'm sorry i'm sorry i wanted my friend here yeah. <laughs> i put you know what's funny is they're so generous and like again they're not compensating me for this that i feel like they, yeah. if i said like my friend's coming they probably would have just said right. yes for sure. But of course, we just have to act the way we all act. We're little brain, stupid little women. No, if anything, we're just <laughs> elaborate liars. <laughs> we'll circle back to why we're here. <laughs> Which is the side men shoot. You fucking slid. Thank you. You ate the house down boots, Houston. I'm deceased. Thank you. One thing, Shocking me well. One thing that I love about the both of them is... We talk about this a lot, but I feel like this is going to get sentimental for 2.2 seconds. Is one thing that I love about the both of you is that you will never, ever, ever be yes men to me. Mm-hmm. Like, anytime I'm wrong, you both will be like, you're so fucking stupid. You're so fucking wrong. Like, or if I do bad and I was like, I'll never forget like several podcasts. Paige, you and I have gone through 10 podcasts where you'll be like, I'll be like, how was the episode? And you'll be like, that was a podcast for sure. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> like, what yeah. do you always say, touch and go? <laughs> something like that i'm like you're like that was a little touch and go for a second yeah. like, like a little dicey yeah like, I love you, dicey. like the both of them like again that's what i value in friendship is honesty like you both will be like that was shit that was awful and you both are gassing me up to the side men shit and it made me really happy it was entertaining as fuck it was honestly insane well so Whatever. here's the thing so it's 20 versus one and i'm the one and there's 20 and you date 20 people and we all went into this. Like, I've seen the other episodes. I've seen Logan's episode. I saw KSI's episode. And it's like you speed date 20 people for the first round. So it's like, let me just set them with a preface, right. I guess, so they understand. Um, so the way these work is like the first round of dating these 20 people is they come in and they walk up to you. And you're supposed to swipe left or right on them, yes or no, based solely on their looks. Mm. Um, like I'm going to, I want to date you or I don't want to date you based on your looks or based on not, but everyone knows. She's so kind. She's just too sweet. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. To well now you're being yes, man. <laughs> no, I don't no, date for love. Face, you couldn't say no. You would say no. And if they were like, but why? You're like, you, said, oh, okay, you fine. swiped right on everyone. But I'm saying also like, everyone. look at the trajectory of, especially you, Paige, the people you see me date. <laughs> like, do you think I date for like a certain type or looks? No, you're Absolutely all over the map. Absolutely not. <laughs> but no, Paige and I were even saying once it was like the 12th yes in a row. We were like, well, now she's in too deep to where if you said no to someone, like I felt like you were going to think you were offending that person so hard because you said yes to literally everyone before them. But again, I just mean, look at my track history. No, yeah. Have I ever dated two people that look alike? I mean, it would be hard to say no. How many people have you dated? <laughs> 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 but you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's it's just like, you think are about like all a, over the map. Think about like a, like a, a Severin versus Mod Sun. Think about like a Damien versus, we'll bleep the names. No, Chris, it's a, we Chris can leave. Miles. Think about a Damien versus Chris Miles. Think about a Brad Sousa versus Jake Paul. Like no one looks alike. <laughs> like I, I don't date for looks. At yeah. all. At all. Mm-hmm. You know? And but so like, many. No, that kidding. would be the I'm goal. Kidding, but then I date these men without headboards who are broke as fuck. And <laughs> that's just the gag. But I'm saying like, I don't date for looks. Uh-uh. Like I yeah. sincerely like make me laugh or. Do anything, really. Bring me a water. Yeah, you surprise <laughs> me, actually. All Every time. week. Yeah. Every, Every week. <laughs> Sincerely, you know what I mean? And so, point blank being, I've never, like, gone for looks. So I'm, like, trying to say yes or no to these men in the first round. The first yeah. round is based solely off of looks. And KSI kept coaching me. He was like, I would just say yes or no, yes or no. But I was like, someone could be fugly, but if they, like, make me laugh and they make me happy and they're whatever, I would become attracted to them. Someone could be mm. hot, but if they suck, mm. it's not my thing. I don't know. So I was just saying yes to everyone. And then we get to the second round, which is like other people walk away if they want to be with you or not, which is just something I don't even want to touch on. You can watch it in the video. <laughs> but the third round, they put an earpiece in your ear. And they make you, the side men, make you say or do whatever they're telling you to do to all of these people that you said yes to. And it sucks so bad. It's actually like awful to watch at some points. It, it was, was the most wild shit 
I've ever seen. And I think you're being for real too. Yeah, like they don't the know that. That's that what makes it awful is because these people think that you genuinely are acting this way towards them and they're just so confused. They, they, make, they feel bad. But you did too. No, like, I so felt sorry. terrible. So essentially they hire these 20 men like casting to come like date me. And, and all of these men and girls and all of these men and women think that they have like a genuine chance to be on a date with me. And like at first, yes, I'm, I'm rating them. I'm flirting with them. I'm saying yes or no. Like we're bonding, we're vibing. I'm being normal, Tana. I'm like, yes, no, yes, no. Like we're hanging out, we're talking, right? But the third round, they put an earpiece in you and they tell you exactly what to say and do to these men or these women. <clears throat> and I'm sitting in this chair. They send me down every single round. And obviously it makes for the funniest video in the world. I just feel so bad. And that's why they get like 50 million views because you are subjecting people to maybe some trauma. Some like fear factor shit. Some of it was. Ty and I were sitting watching you do this stuff, gripping yeah, each to... other's wrists. Can we like there's no way. The stuff that happened on the video. Is I swear to God, I was upstairs with the side men making them take shots with me just so I was drunk enough to be able to do this shit. So, th so then once you say yes to everyone, you go on a date with them one by one by one. And before the date, you go upstairs and you talk to the side men and they tell you what to do on the date. And then you have the earpiece in and they tell you exactly what to do on the date. Like sentence so, by sentence. Yes. Like they tell you what to say. They tell you what to do. So I'm sitting here thinking I'm going to film this video and find love. Right. And some of the people were like so hot. And you had to do some like. Like 10 out shit. of 10. Yeah. Like. 10 out of 10, like so hot. Like I was like, crying for you watching some of the stuff go like, down. And imagine, like I meet this hot ass guy, I say yes, we're flirting so well. Like I know I could close or fuck them like later. Like it could be fun. We could find love. And then I have to go on this fake date with them where they think it's completely real. Like they know it's on camera, but they think they're like on a normal ass date with me. And then I have an earpiece in and they have no idea. And I have to fuck with them so hard. And they're saying like, tell this guy you're a dominatrix and you want to slap him in the ass with a ping pong paddle. <laughs> yeah. One of the first dates, they send me down. They give me a ping pong, ping pong paddle. I don't know. I'm not sporty. They give me a ping pong paddle. <laughs> I go down. This man looks like Drake. That ass. He is a fucking 10 out of 10. He is so hot. And he's into me. Like I sit down. I'm flirting with him. Like we're laughing, whatever. KSI in my ear. Tell him you want to hit him. Tell him you want to kick him in the balls. Tell him you want to spit on him. Tell him you want to beat him with the ping pong paddle. And I'm looking at him like, so can I hit you? So can I, whatever. KSI, chase him with the ping pong paddle. I'm chasing this grown man who looks like fucking Drake. Like 10 out of 10, I can marry this man. Like he's so fucking hot. I'm chasing him around a fucking chair with a ping pong paddle, trying to beat him and pretend like I'm a dominatrix. Whatever. Beg He's like, I can spank you. In my head, I'm like, please. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, please, yeah. spank me, yeah. bend me, yeah. fuck me, right. daddy. And I'm having to pretend like I'm going to kick him in the balls and spit in his yeah, mouth. No, when he was saying, like, I'll do that to you, I knew you were fighting hard to say no. <laughs> demons. 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 Absolute demons. I knew that. Yep. So then I leave that date. I leave it. He's like, yeah, no. Um, she's really hot, but she needs bipolar pills. She's terrible. She's terrible. I would love to go on a date with her again when she's medicated. And I'm like, just sitting up there watching that shit. I'm crying to uh -huh. KSI. I'm like, I will never find love. You just fucked up my whole life. Just like, wait one more week. We'll like, have a whole new a whole lot. New <laughs> I think we'll get through this one. Yeah, it's just, it's heartbreaking to watch because I think that's in my personality. Like, I know I can close and I can't, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. no, that like, was yeah, I'm not allowed, you know? So this man just leaves thinking that all I wanted to do was beat him with a ping pong paddle. Also, after we left, Tana asked me to ask our girl who booked the flights for, for these men's direct Instagrams so that she could go and formally apologize to them and still try to slide. Well, no. I mean, hear me out on why I want to apologize. I feel like the, the story we just told is the most tame one. There was another guy, super sexy. So coded my type. He could have been a couple inches taller, but I'm saying still coded my type. Beard guy? Yes. I was gonna yep. ask, yeah. Like covered head to toe in tattoos, like super fucking hot. Like super hot. Again, could have been a girl. Guy Giovanna Palmin. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> he was hot as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I sit down on the day, and you could tell. I know. Like, like we were like flirting back mm -hmm. and forth. I was like, you're hot. I want to say I should DM him now that I have his Instagram. He's hot. He is hot. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, would you do anything for me? And his energy is so right. Yeah. He's like, pinky swear I'd do anything for you. Like, blah, blah. We go back and forth. It's like flirty. It's sexy. He's sexy. Do you know what KSI made me have in my back pocket? A fucking zzz hair shaver. Earpiece. Tell him you won't be with him unless you shave his beard. Unless you shave his goatee. The light shave his beard. left from this poor kid's eyes. No, and mine. Like, Just watching. You shave off his beard, and then he said, if I knew you were actually going to do that, I would have walked out. And imagine this hot-ass guy saying Can that I, to me. Oh, no, but when he said that, that's when I was like, this is, like, fucked. It's, high, and I it's like psychological other. torture. We no, literally torture. turned to each other and we're like, oh, no. I was like, this is actually like bullying. A little bit. <laughs> and that's one thing about me. Yeah. I'll sabotage some shit after six months. You know, like, I'll sabotage a relationship in my own ways. And bully them. But off rip like that, like, like I'm not sabotaging that. Like, I would never act like that. You know, like having to act so unlike yourself. Totally. You bully when like, it's back and forth. But I'm saying just like meeting this like kind, sexy guy who like clearly like wants me and is like down and being like, I don't want you unless you let me shave your beard. I had to bend him over and shave his fucking bend him beard. Over. <laughs> well, like bend him back. backwards. Yeah. I don't know. No. And then after that, I shave his beard. He gives me his beard hair. I duct tape it back onto his face. I forgot about that part. This man is humiliated. That's I saw thing. him after the shoot too, and he was just like looking at me like scared. And like that's a painful feeling. Just humiliated. You know? Yeah, just feeling like you scared the shit out of Can a I human. Can I say being. something though? He was cute with the beard. He was really cute without the beard. Too. He was so much hotter was without the beard. Thing. When you took that yeah, hat but you off could tell too? that yeah, the hat came everyone. off. And I was like, wait. You could just tell that that was like his security though, and he was hot Aww. without it. Like, and it just like, oh my god, like the shit. And maybe it's different for the guys. I'm the first girl to do it. Like, yeah, like imagine a guy was like, take out all of your extensions right now. Yeah, yeah like that wouldn't happen. You I know, like yours, <laughs> like, I would not let that I happen. I would no. die. I would die sooner. Yours, I feel like they were way more intense, like with what they were having you do to the men than they ever were with like men doing shit to the women. Like yeah. yours was some fear factor shit. Well, I think that the point of having a woman on it is that the, the blunt end of the joke of the first woman being 20 versus one is pussy power. Yeah. Like what you can get a man to do for pussy, you know, like. We had a different guy Anything. like tell us he wanted to be an actor and take off his shirt. And I was like, there was a chair in front of me. This poor guy would have said oh no to him God. tenfold, I... but I couldn't say no. So we, we get on this date and I tell, they make me tell him that I want to recruit him for OnlyFans. And this man is an aspiring actor. Oh, this one's also, sad. Keep in mind, yeah, he's sad. A, he goes up to your shoulders. Mm. Like, he was a very, very much not your type, even though your type is everyone. This was one that actually was not. Not your type. Just, you got to be my height, you know? And I tell him that I, at the side men's gunpoint, I tell him that I want him to be yeah, recruited for my OnlyFans. My OnlyFans agency, Tana's Angels. I tell him I want him to be a Tana's Angel. I want to sign him. And then he has to take off his shirt and fuck a chair the way he'd <laughs> fuck me. In order to do it, this man took off a shirt and he fucked a chair. He fucked a chair. <laughs> I think his dick was out. <laughs> no, I know, but the, the sad thing is that, like, you were saying, like, you made him, like, think it was, like, hot to you. You're like, oh, my God, like, fuck that chair. Like, it's me. Uh -huh. So then he, like... And you could He's hear like, you like that type. Like, the he was like, oh, upstairs. yeah, okay. You could, they were you laughing could hear so them loud. laughing from the two side men were out. laughing. The them. side men were in tears. I walked upstairs mm -hmm. at one point, and all of the side men were sobbing. You like, could hear actual them. tears. Like, laughing so, because obviously it's so funny, but it was it's sad. so bad for these people. One of the guys, I don't know exactly what his thing was, but everyone was laughing upstairs, and he's like, everyone's no. laughing. Uh, oh, was it the like, break dancer? The break dancer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Here's what I'm going to say before I tell this story. I love KSI. One of the guys was a professional break dancer. Which, oh, I'm not going to lie. Have you heard that TikTok sound where it's like, men shouldn't do that? Yeah. Men shouldn't do that. Correct. I don't necessarily <laughs> think, unless you're like the most successful break dancer in the world, oh, and you can pay for our kids to go to college. If you're just break dancing in the living room with a side job, I don't know if that's my journey. I'd rather be gay. That's just my, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. my truth. And don't get me wrong, Being my job is also not bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're gay out there and you're listening, it's okay. 
Fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Would I rather date this disgusting breakdancer? I think I'd almost rather be gay. She's like gagging. She's point. like <laughs> gay. Gay. I said it. There, I said it. <laughs> I told them a story the other day and they both cried. <laughs> MacBook charger? No. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we told that on the last episode of Cancel Back. I, we did no. I actually was so no. sad. Yeah. So. It made them so sad. It's just a part of my childhood trauma, but I did put it on the docket to tell. Um, it is a sad, but I, it's not sad now. It's just funny. I've no, worked through it. It's, it's, it's still very, very sad. It's still really fucking sad. Okay. So every single night when I fall asleep, I have to fall asleep with a blanket over my ear. Like if I fall asleep, I fall asleep with my head on the pillow, but the blanket has to be over my ear. I swear to God, I could be up for 24 hours. If there's not a blanket over my ear, I'm staying up. She cussed me out because... The blanket would fall off your ear when it would get into the bed. Well, yes. So the other <laughs> night. So here's the thing, too. Sidemen booked us two hotel rooms. Like they booked us two big ass hotel rooms. Like we all could sleep in like separate beds or couches, pull out beds, like whatever. But we're all so codependent on each other that we fully chose the nicest room. And we all are sharing this king bed. Like, we'd rather sleep together. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Sweating, which is, hila- which is hilarious. Sweat. Which Sweat. is hilarious. Sweat. It's insane. But here's the Drooling. thing. Here's the thing, too. When I'm sharing a bed with anyone, I will never be the middle girl. I oh. will. You will. You slay at the middle girl. Because you're just cute and you fall asleep. You're cute. I can never be the middle girl, right? I have to be the outside girl. Because here's the thing. The way I have to sleep is my leg has to be over the blanket or over a pillow. That's all my scoliosis. <laughs> I can't sleep like one line. I have to like elevate my legs so my back doesn't hurt. I'm 25. I feel like I'm 50. I don't know why that happens. Slay. And so Ty was. <laughs> She's the orphan. I am the orphan. Worse, honestly, at least she likes Slay. <laughs> okay, Slay. so you, you sleep. <laughs> yeah, you sleep. And so when you sleep on the outside of a bed you have your blanket but the person in the middle kind of has the control of where the comforter goes like if they get up out of the bed it like rips the comforter off of you like whatever they mm-hmm. do right and so i kept telling ty that he kept waking me because he was ripping the comforter off of me and he was like who cares tana you sleep so hard because once i'm asleep i can sleep through bitch not fucking, not. i can sleep through chernobyl <laughs> like it doesn't matter what's happening like i can sleep through it fire you know? alarm literally yeah like once i'm knocked i'm knocked but I have to fall asleep with a blanket over my ear. And Ty was like, why? And I was like, well, I'm going to childhood trauma dump on you. <laughs> and that she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the story. They think it's really sad. I think it built character. We're going to see where it lands. I was probably like five or six years old. And obviously, I grew up with no money, allegedly. And um, Allegedly. So she doesn't get sued. <laughs> Oh. Allegedly. I was like, so this um, is a lie. No. no. <laughs> and um <laughs> no, You're just a repo baby <laughs> this whole time. God, I was just loaded this whole time. I just love this fantasy. God, please. Um and so my parents, as a treat, decided they would go to Blockbuster, right? Classic. They pick out their movie. Mm. They're splurging this day. They're like, oh my God, Tana gets a movie too. I was an only child. They picked my movie. It was a movie called Teacher Ate My Homework. And I still, I do have a discrepancy with the people who made this movie because the cover of it looks very wholesome. Like a mouse eats a cookie or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a mouse eats a cookie. No, but the, the cover of this movie is wholesome. So my parents picked this movie. I'm probably like five or six. It looks like Matilda. <laughs> Wait, can I see? Like, this is some shit. I'd be like, okay, cute. Is this it? I don't want to like traumatize you. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine Shake falls yes. over here. This is actually fucking horrific. No. Yeah. So my oh, parents, wait, like this. this was the cover. Yeah. Like, looked super wholesome. <gasps> looked so wholesome. Like, doesn't up. that not look wholesome? I'm like, teacher ain't That looks mama. pretty wholesome now. Yeah, my it looks like a looks funny little. Yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. Anyways, yeah. we'll put it in the podcast. And my parents took this movie for me, right? And I go home and they put it in the fucking DVD player. It's a horror movie. I'm six. <laughs> Maybe five at most. And it's the most terrifying horror movie ever. This, to this day, I'm terrified of like realistic dolls because of this movie. Like I hate 
realistic dolls. And I sit down and I start watching it and it's this horrifying movie about like this doll killing people and like everyone's dying, whatever. I'm scream crying. I'm scream crying, like, please turn it off. And they're like, you wanted a movie. You wanted to go to Blockbuster, watch this movie, allegedly. They're like, watch this movie, watch this movie. Oh my God, like da da da. Like you have to watch it. You wanted a Blockbuster movie, so watch it. It's the most horrifying movie in the world. And at that time, my aunt had just gotten me an American Girl doll. I was like, this looks just like you, like blah, blah, blah. She has brown hair. My hair was blonde at the time. Doll's eyes were protruding out of its head. Definitely like a Shein version of an American Girl doll. She definitely like boofed that shit from the fucking black market. Boop. Terrifying. <laughs> and her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> boofed an American Girl doll. But just point blank being, she got me this American Runs Girl doll. Runs in the family. That, no, sorry. Yeah, everything oh, boofs. Yeah. Um, but like the doll already terrified me, you know. And then I watched this movie and my parents allegedly won't let me turn it off. They won't let me turn the movie off. So I'm scream crying the whole movie, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Wait, why? Because like they rented it, like they paid for it. Yeah. Like you're, like watching, you're, this you're watching this. But like you're five. You're five. But they you're paid f- for that shit. Yeah. You have to fuck that. whole three ninety nine <laughs> is worth your childhood drama. So I'm terrified. I'm scream crying, whatever. And they like send me to my room to go to bed. And I have this American girl doll under my bed. And I'm like falling asleep and I like keep hearing noises and I'm so scared and I'm crying and I'm five and I'm scared. And so no one would save me. And I was so scared of this movie that no one would save me from that. I slept every night for the next year with the blanket over my ear. And it was like my formative years. Those are your formative years. Completely. That makes me so sad. Like I want to hug us. little Tana. Oh my Doesn't God. Everyone. I'd punt that bitch. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that home. no but like I slept in my parents' bed until I'm not joking. I was like 13. It was, it was borderline like, bitch, come on, get a fucking grip. Yeah. But like, like, I, I would like, like I would try thing. to crawl into my parents' bed if they were just like passed out. Like I would get in, but it was never like love, obviously. But allegedly, alleg- allegedly, Slay. yeah, we're not oh. trying to get soon here on the canceled podcast. So for the rest of my life to this day, I have to sleep with a blanket over my ear. Like I can't fall asleep unless something's covering my ear. Oh. Like I can't hear things. Like if you're now. a doll out there, back the <laughs> fuck off and let this bitch sleep. <laughs> Annabelle. Yeah. No, and please. Fuck up. No, to this day, like, I suck. Like, my ex would always make me watch Chucky. He was obsessed with it. So I, like, became accustomed to Chucky. I think Chucky's cute now. But other than that, like, Annabelle, like, still scares the shit out of me. Like, I think, That's like, like, haunted dolls are so unusual. Weird. Chucky's kind of, like, hot. <laughs> Did we not Cut. see a guy? <laughs> Five-year-old doll. Did oh, we not? Is he little? Maybe he's not, like, an 18-year-old. So. How old do you think Chucky is? What do you mean? I don't know. Five? What do you mean seven? he's been around for so long? I'm like, he's but grown. in the body of a seven-year-old. <laughs> okay. But is he? Because he's stopping. He's a doll. He's here, like here. Yeah, it's like a little five-year-old doll. Have you seen Chucky? <laughs> You're just really placating this whole journey. What if? Wait, yeah, I'm, okay. Never Chucky's mind. been around forever. And his little wife. <sighs> Don't use these confusing mm. words on me. You know, Hold I did on. that when I was dating Bella and Maud's son. They dressed up as Chucky and his wife. And I was like, little Chucky. I was like, oh, I love this thruple. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm like, I love this thruple. This is a way better throuple than that one, sincerely. And the sex is better, too. That's what you said. It's all good. <laughs> we could never. Ty, would you ever have a sex with me? Have that a was sex. A slur. Have, have a sex. Have a sex. Sorry, <laughs> 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 uh, I slurred a little. A little. Mm. Yeah, I slurred a lot. <laughs> would you ever have sex with me? It was a question. Um, do you want my real answer? Yeah. No. <laughs> so for this outro, I do want to say anyone that is still going to comment about Brooke, we were just horrified. That's why we said those rude things. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. We're in Europe for the next month. We had to do a bi-coastal episode of Cancelled. Ty Collins, Paige Cameron, thank you for joining Give me. It up. As Thank you for joining me as my fellow co-host today. Absolutely. We're going to go frolic through Europe, and we are so excited to pass you guys off to Brooke Schofield. I have no idea what she has in store or what she's doing over there, but I love that girl. And canceled is going to happen no matter what. We're so excited to go on tour and tour the world and meet all of you in every single city that we've announced on my Twitter and my Instagram. I can't wait to do the meet and greets. We're so excited for tour. So excited. We're touring all of the U.S. right now, and we're adding so many dates that are across the U.S., and like it's going to be so fun. Um, but right now I'm stuck in Europe and I'm with Paige and Ty, my favorite people in the world. So I hope you enjoyed the first half of this episode of Cancelled. But Brooke, back to you, take Brooke. it away. Back to you, Brooke. <laughs>
And that was Tana Mosher with the weather for Paris. Thank you so much, Tana. That was <laughs> she so was amazing. in London. They're fully in London. Oh, are they not the same thing? Right? I don't know. No, they said it at least twenty times in their episode. They kept going, and we're in London. That's what should have happened <laughs> on the very first episode. You know, like the one that you guys shot, and I did like the "Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader" in the background. Like uh-huh. that would be really funny to like. <laughs> Oh, it's geography is not my thing, but in my defense, I've never left the country. Tana is in London. She thinks she's in Paris. Next, she's in Mykonos. And, and then Jakarta, Dubai. Jakarta coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> and she called me She'll yesterday. be touring in Uganda. You, I, have, I have children in Uganda. <laughs> no, the Philippines. Marianne, shout out. Anyway, we are back on the canceled set. It's me and Amari. So Brooke's a Reddit whore, as you guys know, because it's all she talks about on here. It's one of, it's like, I feel like at this point, it's like a personality trait for you. It's I know, like, but I'm trying not to make it because now now they're like, I fucked myself over a little bit because now they know I'm watching. So like the yeah. mean ones will make sure that I see it. And then the nice ones are like, Brooke, if you see this. Uh-huh. So for all you know, I'm not even on there. But I've been doing my research, my Reddit research, and I go on to like the little thread. Thread. Well, yeah, Mojo yeah, podcast. Teach me the lingo. Canceled pod. Um, And I saw one and you guys are talking about how these, you don't really live for the guests or whatever and you guys want more like people in the friend group on there and there was a poll and the poll honestly boosted the fuck out of me you go thank you guys like that was so amazing what were the options it was you lila it was like me lila ari i think ashley isabella maybe mario (laughs) trebby no isabella they wanted you on i swear wait isabella's with (laughs) us too by the way i took the cake by a landslide (laughs) okay (laughs) humble legend and there's nothing bad about me on reddit well uh that you know of be careful because I didn't think so either until I started. Ser- what what I, the mistake I was making before was searching Brooke Schofield, but it's like how dare I think that they know my last name? I search now Brooke Tana. <laughs> <laughs> One of my like YouTube tags, like I feel like when you first start making YouTube videos, like uh, back in the day, like you would like add tags to videos, like hashtags or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. so that if people type these things in, then like your YouTube video would come out like. I don't think that's like a thing anymore. Like they don't really. I don't, I don't they think do it like for makes me, you do. But better. like one of them. Like back in the day, it was like Amari Tana, Tana Amari, and like both of our names like spelled like wrong too, like Tana Mongoose Amari Stewart, like like S T E W A R T, like just like. I remember awful. in the beginning ages of TikTok too, when we would type like F Y P X B C by Y A or uh-huh. whatever. Uh huh. And honestly, some of these days I'm like, should I be I doing that? Like, that. what was Charlie doing? Seriously. No, exactly. But also, I will. Is your creator fund on? It's not. I turned mine off too and my video started doing better. I was like, wait, wait. Well, that's what everyone's saying. So someone was telling me the other day, like now there's like a long form version where you can post like a video. If it's longer than a minute, you can make like a dollar for every thousand views, thousand views which uh-huh. is crazy. Because yeah. the normal, like YouTube is like the only platform in my experience that you make money from like actual views. TikTok, you could get 5 million views and you make like 35 cents. Yeah, the creator fund cents. fucking sucks. Like no one's making money on the goddamn creator fund unless you're like... Noah Beck and like taking your shirt off. Oh my god! Like, don't talk to me about Noah Beck. Don't talk to me about. No, I just w- <laughs> I just went through recently and I was like, I forget what like what compelled me to do it, but I went and looked and I had sent Noah Beck a DM <laughs> in 2020, <laughs> and I was so mortified. I just said, "You're hot." <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? There's no lie, but it's weird now because it's like. It's too close now for comfort. Yeah. Like if he was Justin Bieber, Did like that's okay scene? to say. Um, he's wa- like he watched my story that day. That's why I checked. So I was like, oh no. Does he follow you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. But the only I know that it was because I actively tell his little sister that I'm in love with him. So I haven't met her, Tatum. She's so cute. But it'll creep you out. It'll creep you out because. They look exactly the same. So now it's like as hot as he is. I look at him and I'm like, there's Tatum. Oh, shit. I'm like, so I am bisexual again. Yeah, <laughs> Wait. maybe. Wait, how old is she? Um, I think she's like 20. Okay. She's older than him. What? Wait, it's not his little. Did yeah, I say little, little sister? Because sister. <laughs> she, she's tiny. She's tiny. Um, she's, you know all about being tiny. She's. <laughs> <laughs> she's older than him. But yeah, anyway, Noah Beck, if you're seeing this, I didn't. That wasn't me. And that's embarrassing. And also, Dixie D'Amelio, if you're seeing this, I love you more than Noah. I mean, take one down, pass it around. It's not how that goes. Not anymore. We talked about like, that I'm a like, wait, too wait, what do you mean? much on the canceled <laughs> podcast. Uh, you know all about take one down, pass it around. No, I don't. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, kinda- so what I want to know is, okay. like, do you, like, did you come up with topics for us to talk about today? Because obviously, guys, I have not. Been, I'm here, obviously, always sitting on the couch on the side, but I'm not always 
on the actual episode. So like we got to give them like something good. We got to give them something juicy. Like, we do. I have a couple little things I want to talk about just um, right off the top because yeah. I've had some things that I would bring up with Tana Moja herself if she were sitting in front of me, but it's almost more exciting to bring them up with you. Yeah. The black version's right here. <clears throat> the first being that I got cooked this week on another podcast by none other than Harry Jowsey. And by cooked, I mean, he embarrassed me. <laughs> he honestly didn't say anything bad. He went on um, Dom Gabriel's podcast, which I'm actually going on tomorrow. Like Too Hot to Handle Dom? I think he's on The Perfect Match Show. Oh, okay. All these Netflix shows have me so fucked up. Like, there's just like 50,000 of them. And now I feel like once you get into that little like Netflix industry, like they'll just toss you around like a piece yeah, of pizza they, into all the Yeah, if they like you, shows. they'll just, yeah, they'll just let you dip in anywhere. Oh, wait, but. yeah, he was on Perfect Match. I was, I was seeing that. Him and, like, Francesca were, like, hitting it off for a sec and, like... Yeah. So, on Dom's podcast, they did a little fuck, Mary kill action, mm -hmm. okay? And the options were Tana Mojo, her co-host, which is me, thank did you. Did they just call you her co-host? Well, they said Brooke, her co-host. Okay. Or Sophia with an F, all of which are very good options for all of the above mm -hmm. except for kill no one's dying we killed sophia because well, i don't know why that was stupid she'd be a good fuck i know it we'll get to that too because i have another sophia topic he he goes mary tana which is already gold digger um <laughs> <laughs> he goes uh fuck brooke again <laughs> i love again why do you have to say again because obviously we had him uncanceled. Everyone knew like that already. That was years ago. Okay, but I'll tell you why I have a problem with the again. First of all, anyone I'm talking to seeing that now and being like, huh? <laughs> You're like, I fucked you. Well, for, no, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, wh why do you say again? Like, like it's like, I'd fuck her again. Like, don't say that, okay? Because there's no context there. Now, for example, like Georgia, for example, his sweet ex-girlfriend who I'm friends with, who I love, she, that, she can... She doesn't know the timeline on that. What if that means last week? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I saw that and I was like, oh, no. All of a sudden, you're never going to a Netflix event ever again. No, but, but it's like, if I'm choosing teams, I'm choosing fucking little Margot Robbie over here, Georgia Hazarati. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like... Damn, he aired you out. He aired me the fuck out. And I was so embarrassed. Not embarrassed, because it's like, he's hot, like, whatever. But, yeah, I'll fuck but let it be known that that was years ago, okay? That was... A different time. I actually remember when that happened. And he made me watch the B movie every single time. I remember when that happened too. It was very interesting. Like the group chat was having a field day. <laughs> and not, not one time did he call me by my name. What? I don't even want to tell you. What was he <laughs> I calling you? Uh, I think something, something milk, like milk something. What? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like mo mommy milk, mommy's like milkies? something milk, like, because my tits were huge at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so to this day i when, the, when the clip came out i went to go text him because i was like what the fuck don't have his number first of all that's how you know it was a long time ago second of all his former number is saved in my phone as harry jowsey milkman no <laughs> so just let it be known that harry. was that was many personalities ago harry if you're listening which no you are um so hot so hot so hot and real australian which is listen on my bucket list since. Look, um, if you don't fuck Brooke again, we could. <laughs> That's not where I was going with this. <laughs> Take me for a whirl. Not a bad idea. Uh huh. I'm like, you've never been to heaven. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on the topic of Sophia, which we weren't. <laughs> we weren't. Yeah, yeah, not at all. But like Sophia, kind of so Sophia with an F. This is just a short topic, but I just need to bring it up to you because she was really the nicest girl ever, by the way. Like she's the that was my first best. time meeting her, and she's like, she walked in like, I personally don't like when people come through and like they have like shitty friends or anything like that. Like, she was amazing and so yeah, nice, she came and with I her also cousin. feel like she came with her. I think it was her assistant. Yeah, and they were so nice and so cool and like and so pretty. Like that that doesn't fucking matter, obviously. But like, yes, I feel like a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times I feel like I've in the past couple of years like I've met people that like just are there to like eat Tana's ass or mm -hmm. something like that and I think I like that she called her the fuck out she was like you tweeted this about me yeah and like I just like love that like 
she came through and was like so nice to even like she probably has no idea who the fuck I am or if she does then that, that's cool too but like she was just so nice and didn't care about I have a huge anything thing about it was that too. giving like very like we're all the same that I was I was gonna ask you like I have experience with that I talk about it I've talked about it on a few episodes but when like when I have a problem with somebody a lot of times Tana's like where is this coming from like like they're so nice like what what's wrong with them yeah, I'm like girl they and would it's do anything she to can't eat your pussy it because she can't see it because everybody's so not not everybody but lo- like there are a lot of people who will be so nice to her and then not as nice to the people around her and I of course I notice that I'm sure you do too sure yeah no I've seen it like, like it's uh, girls especially they'll be so far up her ass well in the nicest way but but no, you're this like isn't a okay. fucking meet and greet. So <laughs> it is, it is special to me. I always always make note of the people who like come in and they're just like oh my god like they're they're equally attentive to yeah. everybody like that's special. It's funny too because Definitely. we're filming a podcast. I know it's it's it's, it's Chris Miles yeah. checking on Tana. <laughs> Sophia with an F just had a guest on her podcast, and do you remember that show that was like making uh it was like making a star or something? It was with like Danity Kane. God, like, you're too young for me. <laughs> it was like... Not all of us are knocking I think it was like Diddy book. or somebody who was like putting a girl group together and they were like making these like girls sing together or whatever and they like they formed a group called Danity Kane or whatever and they were big, like really big for a second. Okay? What kind my of music? favorite, who knows? Mm. Damn it, me, me needing all my details and giving all no, the details. No, that song that's like, like... Oh wait, no, that's Pussycat Dolls. Yeah, I don't know. But, <laughs> but I remember at the time I loved this girl... Audrey, I think is her name. Mm-hmm. Okay, she was the blonde one, and I always wanted to be blonde. So that was my girl I identified with. Okay, so she was just a guest on Sophia with an F, and I honestly think I just I need to send the video. Maybe I'll airdrop it to Aaron. But when I tell you, I was too stunned to speak. I was on Raya, not to be mean, but I'm a bigger deal than you, a and I couldn't percent. get on Raya. I'm still in the hold pile which is basically whoever is deciding on raya you pissed off or you pissed off somebody that knows them and they're likely friends with a trump or a poly d human being did you have drama with Polly? aside from the fact that he cheated on you yeah girl the whole relationship was drama he told me it's so easy for me to be the shiny great guy that everybody loves because everyone around me is such a hot mess that like i get the good edit easily and he accurately was able to voice that to me too which Mm -hmm. shows which one he he is out of the call her daddy girl and you uh, he makes more money good for him we ain't pulling up to a 60 million dollar mansion no we are not but i can't <laughs> sleep at night but it has nothing to do with my karma that's, wait okay Holy so that's shit. that's the first part of that was like i wanted you to see because it was like her that saying the little sound bite like like no offense but i'm a bigger deal than you and i can't get on to raya there was another clip where sophia goes yeah i love money and she goes clearly not that much because you let 60 million dollars slip through your fingers and just like fucking disrespecting Sophia so bad on her own podcast like saying like that is you're not <laughs> shit and you're on Raya like why can't I get on Raya like just being such a cunt and I like I would fucking <laughs> Winnie shut up uh-huh. I would fucking kill myself no it, it was so bad I wish so I went obviously to do, do more research because I was apprehensive to speak about it on canceled without like actually knowing the details like I was like maybe the maybe it's clipped poorly to make her look bad so I went and looked at the Sophia with an F comments, okay? And they are, apparently she was just so horrible to Sophia the entire time. And Sophia was just like a big person about it. She was like, oh yeah, like no, yeah, for sure. They should let you on. Let me tell you, if somebody was sitting across from me, somebody, by the way, who, I mean, she was a big deal in her day. Yeah. But it's been 15 years and she is... In no way more important with Sophia like, than Sophia with an F. And like society is like what's keeping you alive, and like the, your audience has like graduated and like go, like gone yeah, on with their lives. She was a huge like, deal at that time. Like th- like Danity, that was a huge deal. But what have you done but to keep to, yourself? But like, to to do nothing since. Okay. And then disrespect Sophia with an F. And then come crazy. on a podcast, somebody who's giving you a platform to talk about your like business to promote whatever you want to promote, and disrespect that person who's sitting across from you who's interviewing you that badly i was like yeah that's so mean and like obviously like she she's one she's got some balls because obviously some like, balls when it comes to like that kind of behavior too it's like who raised you because it's like you don't go into like someone's i don't know where sophia with enough shoots but like you, you don't go into someone's house or their space and like they're inviting you like 
being so nice and you don't treat someone like shit in their yeah, own home. Exactly. I'll treat Giving- you like shit like outside of the home. Like, but like yeah or if you think it, like because she like i said she was really like she was lit at that time she was so important whatever but you don't disrespect somebody like that it pissed me off so bad i don't know yeah. I, like I and don't it's know like it's giving it. like um have you seen there's a t- this tiktok and like this girl's like oh like, people say it's like free to be nice i guess it is free to be nice i completely agree with that and i always say that too it's free to just be nice to a person but then she goes <laughs> also it's free to be mean like she goes you think i'm buying a booklet on how to be a cunt like <laughs> but it just sucks because i don't want to listen like when somebody says something like that for example because this girl who i'm talking about she is very knowledgeable she's been in this space like that we're in now forever okay yeah. and she knows probably a lot more than we do she's been through it she's seen it all okay yeah but like you have the opportunity to give somebody like it like actual sound advice and be like kind to somebody and she was just fu- like she literally was like you don't fucking matter and i do and here's why i'd start crying i would start I know, crying but that, well that's why i had to say it because i was like poor little like and sophia she stands up for herself like i've seen her do it she's yeah. uh, obvious she's also so sweet like, and the 60 million dollars thing pissed me off because you know that she loses sleep over that okay i yeah. i would <laughs> that's a low blow that's a low it's a blow bitch low blow. like it's like me saying something to you that you already really like know and like feel a certain type of way about and like yeah. me throwing it back in your face it's like why are you gonna do that on my own fucking show yeah that that does suck ass but at least she so was, like, justice for sophia and honestly find god justice Audrey, for sophia whatever her name is <laughs> anywho i'm elevating <laughs> So yesterday, <laughs> oh, okay. So yesterday, <laughs> wait. I don't. Should we say her name? Because I really want to go in about it, and I don't think if we say her name, we can really go in about it. Okay. We had Amari and I had a friend over last night, and like for reference, this is like a she's a she's a sweetheart. And she really means well, but like we're okay. So <laughs> basically, what well, basically what we're doing right now is like trailing back to how we were talking about how people like sometimes just come around and they just want to like eat Tana's ass and like they treat the people around her disrespectfully and okay that's fine get to your bag chase the clout do your thing that's totally okay but yesterday one of the friends that we had come over did something similar to that whole vibe to me but now we're friends and it was just really funny because she came over hang out all this stuff and one of the first times that I met her actually the very first time I met her (laughs) We're like getting in an Uber going up the hill and it's just like Tana and I and this girl and This is a universal experience. It's like <laughs> She grew up like like kinda like Nepo baby esque, I would say. Like a Nepo baby adjacent. Yeah, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> and <laughs> what? What do you mean what does that mean? Does that mean the same thing as like Nepo baby esque? It's like uh, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll tell you after. Whatever. Um <laughs> So then we're getting into an Uber to go up the hill. I think Tana ordered it or whatever. And the girl like turns around and looks at me and she goes, what are you doing? Or like, and she's just like being weird about me getting into the car. And I'm like getting into a fucking Uber with my goddamn sister. <laughs> and she's like shell shocked. <laughs> she's like, oh my God. I had a similar like experience. I didn't realize. And I, I literally, I told her, <laughs> I was like, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> the first time I met her and then. Uh, like a month later or something like that like obviously everything like kind of like switched the vibes are okay we hung out yesterday and <laughs> she's on live talking about someone brings me up and she's like honestly i fuck with amari the first time i met him he called me a fucking bitch <laughs> and, as you she should, was like, I, and i was being a bitch <laughs> i firmly believe that some people it, they just need to be they just like you know need to be told mm-hmm. and like not even in a bad way because so this i had a similar experience where it was kind of like I could tell this person only cared about Tana and not me, <coughs> which is fine. But like in, in a situation like that, it's like, what do you mean? I can't get in the Uber. Like, <laughs> I was shook and we were just going up the hill too. So that was kind of my first impression as well. But I think what c- it came down to, to me was like, I know that the intent wasn't bad. It's just her personality, which is fine. Yeah. And like, that's fine. So we grew to love her. Yeah. Okay. I, like, I completely like understood. But well, cause she just, sometimes she, I feel like she struggles a little bit with like social cues a little where like she says something and she genuinely like it's, it's coming from like her heart and she means it and she means so well with it. But like but, the way she's saying it, you're like, there's yeah, no way you just said that like, to me. Realize like what, 
what effect this has on people, what magnitude this earthquake yeah. is. So like, yesterday, I make a comment. She's oh, she's over here, and I love like I think she's very entertaining. She's fun to listen to. She's like a, she's a good time. Spilling okay? so much. And she, I'm not kidding. I feel like I pressed a button, I turned it on, and she is performing. It okay? was amazing. <laughs> she's a performance artist. I was like, I lo- and I love to watch it. I'm obsessed with her now, but. I said a comment or I made a comment about like something that I wanted to be invited to and I wasn't okay just like a really lighthearted comment I was like oh like why aren't they (laughs) inviting me to those and boy did she take that as an invitation she read you to filth she read me to filth and I'll tell you what she said she basically so it was like a basically in LA there's like showrooms okay and like when you get invited to events and stuff you can go to these showrooms like so long as they feel like you're like important or whatever, you can go there, you can pull pieces, you can wear them and then bring them back. Okay. Or, or get gifted them sometimes. Or, too, yeah. Or if you're on. really lit, if you're really elevated, <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you, can, you can keep them. But I had a showroom reach out to me and they were like, we would love to have you in, whatever. So then I messaged them and I was like, I would love to come. I have, you know, people's choice. I have this, this, and this. Okay. I'd like, like really important things laid out. You gave out. them your resume. And they fucking ignored me okay and i'm like you reached out to me first this is you literally just edged me with my own fucking dresses <laughs> <laughs> and i'm hurt so i was like hurt or I, I brought it up yesterday and without hesitation she goes mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you need to elevate <laughs> i go what do you mean i need to elevate and she goes no offense this is what she said <laughs> swear on my life she said I think canceled has the potential to be a big podcast. <laughs> I was already hurt. <laughs> Our jaws okay. were on the floor. But it just kept Our getting worse. Our jaws were on the floor. She goes, it could be really big, but I'm going to be honest with you. Your entire brand is based around basically just talking about drama. And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> it keeps the lights on. Like, yeah. And she goes, no one's ever going to take you seriously. They're always going to think you're a fast, fa- fast fashion girl. And <laughs> like the, it hurt because she was right. <laughs> but like it, she gave me the bit of the century. Cause now I'm like, Oh my God, what am I going to do to elevate? Like, like I can't talk. I can't talk shit about fucking Audrey O'Day because I'm elevating. Like I can't but, do any of this anymore. But what cracks me up about it all is like people like that like in Los Angeles, like there's, this is coming from like, love this girl. She's amazing. She's great. <laughs> She's great. But like, you're a fucking Nepo baby. That's okay. And like, it's like, okay, easier said than done. Like, say that you need to elevate. Like, elevate with what? Like, your fucking daddy's black card. Well, and your no, fucking- so not to cut you off, but she, she said to me, she goes, sometimes it comes down to turning down some brand deals because it's, it's just not with your brand. I go, first of all, your parents are paying your rent. Your parents are paying your bills. I'm paying my parents' bills, yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I like don't get to turn to things pay, down. Bills to pay, wigs to slay. You got. You got to eat too. Like, yeah, like I'm. I'm not gonna turn something down because it's not elevated enough. <laughs> <laughs> like I have to keep my lights on but, and Mary Ann's. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I've got a Mary family Ann. to feed. So. While I think she was coming from a good place, I'm like, I'm literally going to run this home yeah, for the rest like, of my life. Yeah, she just didn't realize. Like, But she just, you know, she, what did she say? She said, like, um, she was like, YSL's never going to have you so long as you are posting Fashion Nova. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, YSL's not paying me now, and this Fashion Nova dress was cute, so I will. Well, well, then, so I told her, I was like, well, I kind of, like, I don't really want, like, my vision isn't for me to be a fashion girly. Like, I'm wearing a fucking onesie and sneakers. You guys see me every day. Fashion's not in my future. I want it to be, but I'm kind of, like, personality-based. And she goes, personality's not going to get you anywhere unless you want to be a talk show host. I go, that's exactly what I want to do. Wait, and that's, like, that's, (laughs) ow, because that's, like, my dream goal in life is to be a talk show host. Me too, and I'm like... That's, I love the idea of that. And like, honestly, I don't know. She really humbled me because now I'm like, I, I got it. I got it off a really good offer today. And I literally had to text Natalie and be like, I don't know. I don't think it's elevated. Not, <laughs> <laughs> no one's elevating with this. I could. Yeah. I'm like, no more fast fashion. No more. Not, you know what? I'm elevating. elevating. And fuck my mom, dude. You're, Sorry. You're, like lights are off. You're elevating and everyone else is <laughs> declining in life. No one else. Gets any more money? Funds I did love. get I did get a Taylor Swift 
the old yeah, today. you're a fucking bitch for that. You're a fucking bitch. I want to go to Taylor Swift so bad. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a Swifty. I have always been a Swifty, will always be a Swifty. And then Brooke comes in here like a fucking Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking Swifty. No, like a fucking stampede. They know I'm a Swifty. They they hear me. I talk about her. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And I see the text Brooke got Taylor Swift tickets somehow to a box. Not somehow. Yeah. Let's crunch the numbers. <laughs> no, I got them. Yeah. I got them and I'm taking Lila because it was when I was supposed to go to Iowa. So what goes on with that? Because like, so basically what happened was like Lila booked a trip for them to go to Iowa and she got like triple charged. Like American Airlines or whatever airline, you fucking suck. And charged her. Like, I don't believe that. I believe it was li- like, I believe it was on Lila's accord. Well, I, she showed it and like, oh. she kept saying like they were having issues or like it was, I don't know what was going on, but that does suck ass. Like getting triple charged for like flights that are like over a thousand dollars is kind of ass but like so is she just like refunding those flights and you guys are going or like what no we they were non-refundable so we found out today that we're just fucked but we're going to taylor swift and taylor swift tickets are like thousands of dollars yeah no those are very very expensive tickets. so it's valuable i texted someone and was like i need to give or i need to get tickets to the 21 savage drake concert that's what i need Need to be like in a box. Ooh. Like twenty one. Well, see, look, look what, look what I'm gonna do. Way. I'm gonna elevate it for all of us. Elevate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm elevating for everybody. I'm gonna go in that box, and I'm gonna be so overwhelmingly grateful and excited about having been invited that we are gonna get invited back every single time. Yeah. For everything. It's yeah. so the the invite we got. It's, it's so it's Taylor's playing SoFi Stadium. Yeah. And it goes in the SoFi owner's box. I go, okay, so who's the SoFi owner? Because I will. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, please fuck him. Okay, that's not, I was, I was going to say like bringing <laughs> flowers or something. <laughs> no, I want you to fuck him. Stassi Bell honestly gave us a good topic for okay. today. She said, I want you to put all of your friends in a superlative, like a yearbook. <gasps> I won one in high school. I didn't. I got most adventurous. <laughs> uh-huh. And my quote was like, I'm like, because they knew you were gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I had, what the fuck? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being gay. I wasn't They're gay all, in We're high all gay school. here, except I for wasn't Isabella. Gay in, I've actually, <laughs> I've fucked more girls than guys. Let's put it like that. That's crazy to me. Yeah. So crazy. How many, well, no, I won't ask you that, but. We fuck all the time. Me and you. I, that's like the rumor I've been spreading is that we fuck. Don't say that. I'm not kidding. On TikTok, people will be like, what's going on with Brooke? I'm like, I don't know. We, we fuck all the time. I'm rebranding as celibate. Okay. So I want to give everybody our superlative. I think Isabella is the most likely to be in a Lil Yachty music video. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sean. Big Sean. Big Sean is too little for you. Like, he's too short. Most you did? Yes. So. What? <laughs> most likely to go to jail, go obviously. Slay. Lila. Most likely to be, yeah, in, in, imprisoned is definitely Lila. Come on, give us something, Isabella. She's got a mic now. Wait. What's Ari? What music video he'll be in? No, like, no, what's, what's he most likely to do? Oh. Like, marry someone with, like, oil money. Wait, I want to see, think like. think so? Yeah, I feel like he's, like, Wait, he I want to pull up, like, real superlatives. You're so right. I'm pulling up yearbook superlatives. No, but we can't. I don't want like I don't want best smile. I want like most likely to get like railed in the back of a fucking IHOP. <laughs> you know. You. That's like well, Barney's beanery. I'm, I'm like. <laughs> like biggest flirt, Tana. No, I, th- I think that's just biggest drunk. <laughs> flirt is pushing it. Biggest slur. Like. <laughs> Tana's biggest slur. Um, most likely to win an argument. Tana. That's just not true. No, most likely to get everyone else to back down in an argument is Tana. Win is crazy. Like most likely to climb Mount Everest. Paige. Paige. <laughs> just to get away no, from this. Honestly, Ashley, her <laughs> athletic ass. <laughs> yeah, Ashley would do it. I'm like most likely to drown in the pier. <laughs> <laughs> most likely. Okay, let's like create our own. Most likely to get caught stealing. 
Lila. No, she. I feel like she's good at stealing. Uh, yeah, I feel like she's if good at it. gonna get caught, it's gonna be like me, someone I, who doesn't steal. Yeah, or like me. Kyla. I could see Kyla getting caught stealing, and then I could like, see Kyla like stealing by accident and, and being like, like, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. No, my mom's done that before too. She's like accidentally stolen. <laughs> my mom's accidentally stolen. Well, she's too. accidentally stolen, and she like feels so bad in the parking lot. Has gone back inside and been like, oh my god, I accidentally stole this and paid. I'm like. Dude, I feel like my mom would what? like would like stuff shit in my pockets when I was. I'm kidding. like, what the fuck? And like, I'm sitting here in high school. I'm like, give me money. You're going back inside and pay- like, you just got shit for free, and you won't give me money. I used to rob yeah, my mom. Yeah, get in it high together, school. Deborah. I used to rob her in high school. I'd be like in line at PacSun or like <laughs> Zoomies, whatever, like in the mall. I'm like, just rob your mom. Basically, like I had like for a long time, I had a debit card that was attached to like my parents' account, so they could transfer me money or I could transfer them money. I mean, I wasn't transferring them money, like. Let's be real, I was in high school. I worked at PacSun. And so the total would be like $86, blah, 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 whatever. And I'd have like $4 in my account. But I was like, wait, I can go in right now, transfer 86 out of my mom's into mine. And I'd swipe. And then she'd be like, we have the le- like the electric bill to pay. And I'd be like. You're, see, I could never get I'm away like, with but that. But look at these vans. Even this morning, as a 26-year-old woman, I got a text, were you out of the country last month? <laughs> my grandpa goes, send me $60. I'm like, for, for what? what? My roaming charges or something oh you, you your parents took you to dinner <laughs> <laughs> i'll never forget like father's day or my dad's birthday something like that i got him fucking cute ass raiders custom air force ones took him to catch and he starts ordering like <laughs> wagyu and like all this stuff <laughs> and i'm like are you kidding and it was like my dad my mom i don't my brother doesn't matter and the bill's like Thirteen hundred dollars, and I was like, "Ew, this is so fucking annoying. I'm having to pay this fucking bill for like." Well, you shouldn't offer. <laughs> I was like, "What?" But it was cute. It was cute, but like, that charge wasn't cute at all. And I was so pissed. If I, I could, like, if I could live my life and never pay for anything again, I would. Like, what am I gonna do? Say it. no charcoal. Who did we not give a superlative? Ty. Ty and I are friends. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking all the time. Are Ty and I dating? No, we're not dating. Nobody's asking for- you that, dude. Like, <laughs> i'm sure little miss reddit over here knows damn well i'm just joking yeah um but yeah no ty and i we're friends we're not dating and that's really it so slide in my dms or and, his and, and so me his, i will fucking kill you me and ty are dating um and me and Paige. we both fuck brooke everybody fucks brooke mm-hmm. except for isabella She's not a lesbian. <laughs> Brooke wants me to be into her so bad. <laughs> you guys, we can, can I, as well, can I please tell, come on. You can tell the story about how you like pulled the prank on me. <laughs> no, wait. It wasn't a prank. Dude, it wasn't a prank. No, she was playing some game in the club, no? Like where you texted me. No, no. Okay. First of all, I don't need to defend myself here. No. I'm straight. Isabel, I'm not going to bully you, but... I'm like, what's wrong with being not One time, no, no, no. saying she's trying Wait, to Wait, no, this is actually this- a trend of this episode because Tana, Tana, so someone made a joke to Tana and she was like, I would literally rather be gay than do that. And Ty goes, <laughs> you'd rather be gay. Like, like as if it's the worst thing in the world. So it's actually funny. But I, I forget what happened. Like some, one time we made like a little joke, like a little jokey joke about Isabella being a lesbian. No, <laughs> <laughs> she got it. so she not it's not like mad she wasn't mad because there's nothing wrong with being a lesbian but she was a little more defensive than a no, straight because person i knew me. no matter what my response would have been to your like whatever the fuck you were trying to say would have been the same no matter what my response would have been it's like you pre-typed it as soon as i said what i said like you knew what you were going to say back no matter what i said because i'm hilarious was, dude and i'm it premeditated was, it was giving like hyper defensive and it's like what's wrong with being gay? no <laughs> it was, no it was just the funniest shit the point ever. is she's the straightest person in the group everyone knows it so how funny is it of like i mean because we are the lgbtq community she, like she's obviously straight it's hilarious to joke about and it's become my running like bit forever. And so tell the story, so tell the story about how it. when you were in the club and you were like texting me and I was like literally in the movie like <laughs> on a date or something. <laughs> and I was so nice wait, to you. Wait, this is actually <laughs> bad. So this was this has been going on for a really long time. We've always been making that like Isabella lesbian joke because it's like it's so not her that it's like she she gets like hurt by it. Like it just has to be a thing. And like, this isn't bullying. This is friends. We're, we're one big family, as you guys can see. 
No, but this was before like you did this thing in the group so chat. I was I was playing a game. I think it was at Dylan's house. And it was like a, it was the game where you just like literally like scroll blindly through your phone and someone tells you to stop. And then when you stop on that person, you have to like text them something like, and, and the person who it is like gets to decide what you say. Yeah. I land on Isabella <laughs> and my, and my job is to tell her that I am confessing my love for her. <laughs> like, like I have to tell her that I really, I've, I've had feelings for her for a long time. And like, this is how I feel and I can't keep it in anymore. And, and my know. phone was on do not disturb and I'm in a movie. She pressed notify anyway. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that, Isabel. I didn't even realize that contributed to my... No- That's why I was so annoyed because I was like, I was so nice to you when you... No, okay, wait, this, this makes it so, honestly, so much worse. But, so I, t- I have to text Isabella and be like, Isabella, like, I have to tell you something. And she was like, oh my God, like, what? Like, what is it? And I was like, ah, Isabella... I think I'm in, like I think I'm in, in love with you. <laughs> she was like, she was like, you're kidding. And I was like, no. I knew. It. I was like, you're joking. And mind you, wait, mind wait, you, wait. somebody like it was. Uh, it, I think it was at Dylan's house. He like they you were, were like, at Delilah. Yeah, it was. I, I now I can. Uh, Delilah I can, being Delulu. We did it to like seven other people, not like the sp- same specific thing, but it would be like a situation you had to like set up. And so I was like, no, like this is this is just me. And it was the worst person for it, honestly, to happen to. Because if it was Amari, he'd be like, "Fuck you!" Like, no, you're not hot. But Isabella was like, "Oh no!" Like, <laughs> like I love you so much. You're so hot, but I'm straight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she said exactly that. I'm not kidding. She was like, um, like, she was like, that's I. She's like, thank you so much for telling me, but like, that's not my vibe. Like. <laughs> Thank I was so nice about it and then you did that no, shit in the group chat and I was like, you bitch. You were wait, she was so nice about it. But that was so separate. I didn't even put those two things together at all. They were like months apart from each other, but I literally was like, oh no, not I you never doing thought this you were a again. lesbian, Isabella. You what? know what's so funny about this? Like, because like obviously it was a game. And years and years ago, Isabella, I hope you remember this. I, you have to remember this. We were playing this pizza box game where like you flip a thing and like you make a rule and like write like whatever <laughs> the fuck. That. We're playing this pizza box game and I land on it's like send your mom a text and like tell her that you're gay or you're attracted to the opposite sex but like the friend had to do it like isabella was sending the text like from my phone like coming out to my mom before i was out <laughs> before i was out too and like oh my god and you were actually I, I gay had, no, this and story I, is so I, was, bad. I was sucking dick i was glucking you were, yeah, and, you, were, you know yeah, you were sucking and gluck yeah mm-hmm. and she sends the text from my phone because we're so drunk because it's a drinking game and she sends like the text saying that i'm attracted to the same sex <laughs> Or no, not the same sex. The the opposite sex. <laughs> oh, like, so your mom's like, probably like, like yes! Into, yes, exactly. <laughs> like it sounds like I'm into girls pretty much. <laughs> like, you came out as straight to Deborah. Exactly. <laughs> and then I was like, ha ha ha, like JK, it's a joke. Like <laughs> we're playing a game, but it's like it says you're straight. Oh. So, like what's the? What's I always the joke? do that. Like, like with your dad when I texted him happy birthday, Raj, instead of happy Father's Day. <laughs> Yeah, and get it together, Isabella. It's that it's that confusion delusional. on your mind. No, and she got corrected Shut on it too. Like up. I let it go. <laughs> it was Father's Day, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I go, Happy birthday. And she goes, Yeah, happy birthday. And she goes, oh, Wait, I fuck. I was so that. tired but from like I we were like moving everything. I was like, oh and then I, <laughs> you look at me and you go, Happy birthday, Raj. I go, Yeah. Really important point is that Isabella is not a lesbian and there's nothing wrong with being a lesbian. <laughs> At all. At all. <laughs> but it's hilarious to joke because she's the only one she, who would get offended by she it. She doesn't stop, though. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, once <laughs> or twice, funny. If you never got mad about it one time, I would have never made the I joke. I was so nice about it the first time. I was literally like, no, like, I'm okay. And then you, like, kept going. <laughs> but it was because you were serious about it. Like, th- like you I thought be- you were serious about being a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> my whole she point. Is. I would, but, like, but if I'm going to talk to a girl, she's going to look like, what are you trying I'm to sorry. say? <laughs> Your current celebrity you would fuck and influencer you would fuck and you don't get to plead the fifth. You have to tell me. Well, I'm not. I'll just tell you. Like, oh, okay. Um, well, I feel like everyone knows like, I'm obsessed with Shawn Mendes. I would do anything. But lately... Is he I've influencer been, or celebrity? Celebrity. Oh. As of lately, I've had a crush on Dave Franco. He's like so short, which is ridiculous because like I'm literally like, flat as hell. Okay. But I think he's so hot. You're not attracted to straight guys? Um... I, I just like there's like obviously like, I think they're hot but it's like there's no point in like pursuing or trying anything like that because like, if you're straight then you're straight like I'm not gonna try and convert you like that's not good for my you thing. like me, me to Isabella it, <laughs> Stop. enough it takes Put it to rest energy to like even get guys to like me 
So it's like yeah. So like if you also th- if you I add in the fact where it's like they you, don't like men at all. Yeah. yeah. If I can have to convert you from straight to I, gay I, and then get you to like me, it's like that's too much. Wait, that's like, such a good point because like thinking about like the struggle that I have in general, and then considering like what if those guys didn't even like women? Yeah, it's like it's too much fucking work. Like, I okay. I now give me influencer. To do. Influencer. <sighs> well, I feel like everyone knows I would do anything for like Noah Beck, but like. That's and like I've also retired awful. from Noah Beck. I'm embarrassed and I... I'm trying to think of other ones. There's this one right now. Oh my God. I don't even know if it... Should I air this out? Yeah. <clears throat> There's this guy on TikTok. <laughs> Isabella says, no. <coughs> <laughs> um, first of all, everyone thinks that like, I want to fuck Leo. And honestly, I would fuck the shit out of Leo. I fucking I would him. fuck Leo and everybody He's already knows so that. hot. And like the other night at Larry's birthday, he was being like so daddy and being like... What's he doing? Let's just like... Dinner. Let's, yeah, call him. Like, do you need anything? Like, make sure you're safe. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like... It was just the hottest thing he's ever. So, but he's but such like, a good person. And he's so hot. smart. Like, that's what I love. Like, it's just like everything about him is attractive. But it's like, that's also my friend. Like, I'm not going to try and fuck my fucking friend. Like, whatever. Fire, liar, liar, liar pants on fire. These are stupid. Okay, so since um, you're begging. And so there's this guy. His name's Max. Oh, we've got an influencer Max. Yeah, he doesn't have like... A, a ton of followers. Wait, there's actually a couple. This is a TikToker CJ Clark. If you know, you know he is so fucking hot. But I don't know anything about him really, so it's like kind of scary. But there's this guy Max. He's diabetic, and he's like, S- why did we have to know he was diabetic? That I feel like that's like one of like the like. If you saw his like page, like that's like one thing he talks about a lot on there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing wrong, but I'm just saying like that was that felt like a really irrelevant detail. No, 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 no. Well, I feel like maybe that would be a way you would like recognize him or like uh, no, like, like if I like, oh, you're like up, oh, like, the diabetic guy. <laughs> <laughs> now that you like <laughs> replay that for me, ouch. <laughs> Whatever. But Isabella, I think he's so. The lesbian stop. I think he's so fucking cute. I'm and just joking. He just recently followed me on TikTok, and I think it's because. I don't know if he like saw like one of my TikToks and it was doing well, so we saw that I followed him already, and then he followed me back. I don't know, but I think he's so fucking cute. Let me show you him. I would love for and you to show me him. So funny! Look at this. Funny, funny, funny is the thing. He's so funny. New movies. And I think he's so cute. But he's also a student. Oh, he, you're right. Diabetes is his thing. <laughs> and like. It's difficult because, like, when I feel like when it comes to like dating, especially like, in the gay world, like I just posted a TikTok about this too. There's so many people out there that are just like, Tan the Mojo's best friend. Like, you, like I, I just started a hinge, and like I literally don't like being on apps because of the fact that there's so many people that are just like, they just want to like be around your friends or like be. I had a in situation like group. that recently where I was uh, talking to a guy and he, he he said one too many times, "I can't wait to meet your friends." I was like, "Can't." Why? Like, like I love my friends for sure, but like I, w- I wouldn't want to wait to meet them once. either. But also, don't say that. You know, he is cute. So cute. So Max, if you're watching or you're listening, Max. Diabetic Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what? that everybody's begging to know, <laughs> Brooks. <turn>. Um, <laughs> celebrity crush now. Celebrity crush. T W. Isabella, honestly, cover your ears. Renee Rapp. <laughs> Who's that? A lesbian. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. I'm just I kidding. Have nothing against <laughs> lesbians. Don't put this. Don't put this out there now. What? Brooke, the Reddit is gonna go crazy. <laughs> no, now, now they get the joke exactly because this is exactly how it occurs in the friend group. <laughs> I just like. <laughs> it's like no. It's like pretending Isabella is like terrified of lesbians. <laughs> no, that's you can't. No. But everybody knows you're not Isabella. Nobody thinks you're homophobe. Okay. <laughs> Look at your friend group. I know that, but like you can make them think that. No, but it's a, that's the joke of it all. That's what's funny to me. Okay, I'll come back to celebrity influencer. Oh, you know, fibula. Connor. I tweeted about him recently. He so like, honestly, I saw him at the Demilio Footwear event, and I was like, I don't remember him being this hot. No, he like he's always been hot. He's no, but I didn't remember him being that hot. And like when we like talked to each other, I was like, oh my. No, I, I tweeted. I I'm not kidding. I was like, because I didn't want to DM him or something. I yeah. I do DM every once in a while. Yeah, I only DM people that like it's like too far out of reach. Like, why are you DMing like? Yeah, I'll DM somebody that feels unreal. But if it's like somebody who like is gonna look at this and be like, oh, I know this per-, like, 
like I know her friend or something like I don't want to embarrass yeah. myself like why am I dealing with so that's the thing I, I didn't want to be like shut down but what happened come on no no that's just it I just oh, you said the, what'd you say I didn't I didn't DM him is the point and now oh, I'm doing it you should I can't let's let's both do it right now don't do it come on it's not funny why <laughs> You heard it for here first, and if you are a canceled viewer, you will suggest it to him lightly. Who do you think the craziest person you've ever tried to DM was? I don't know. I get pretty crazy with it, honest to God. I mean, and honestly, like- yeah, you were flued out with Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did the damn thing. Your signature is on that man's guitar. Okay. Go ahead and bleep that. Name. What's your signature like? What do you slide in the DMs with? I do... Uh, so you taught me the new one well okay i would always say like can we hang out or like something like someone the dog looks so cute Mine's i like like something that like someone has to respond to because if someone just messages me hey i don't care if you're literally like david beckham i'm gonna be like okay i'll say like can we hang out or i'll say something like specific to them that like they want to respond to yeah you do Isabella does God sent me here right you know Lila ruined that for me yeah that's the problem is you can't give Lila the idea because then she'll use it and and abuse it it. and use it on everyone she'll use it on like your neighborhood priest yeah that's that's what really does it and it's like like our friend group is so close that it's like if it gets out there and then like all of a sudden like yeah like and then it, like, it's like they got the same someone else from is Lila, saying, Isabella Brooke and Tana like they're we're like, all just saying God <laughs> sent me here like now we look like a fucking group of idiots in our goddamn group chat yeah like, we no, look like we're in a fucking bible study like, together it's like no God didn't send you here it's like we we the sent each chat. other yeah the like, it's just not I know you know what's so funny is I was I was recently like actually talking to a guy and he goes or Lila tried to tell me she goes yeah he DM me once I go, hmm, did he? <laughs> and he, and I, I told him about it. I go, you literally DM my best friend. He goes, no, she DM me. I go, what'd she say? He goes, God sent me here. I go, she certainly did DM you. <laughs> exactly. And, she, and she, she tried to tell me like, no, 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 I would never. I didn't, I didn't, I swear I would tell you. Like, and I'm how like, would he know a message he, Then that how specific? does he know your exact message? Uh-huh. <laughs> The other day, Ari, so Natalie has the hot new intern, and I... Oh, he's so hot. He's so fucking hot. It actually, like, hurts my soul. But Ari also was like, he's so hot, blah, 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 whatever. And we're, like, getting drunk at Spring Place, having a blast. And then I got his number, like, the day before, and then Ari goes, I got his number, too. I go, no, you fucking didn't. (laughs) No, you fucking didn't. Did you actually get his number? No, do you remember? <laughs> Wait, do you guys remember when I was dating um and Lila goes, Broke, I'll text him right now. I go, do it. Like you don't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. In you the group do chat, not have his number no, and you the, know it. Yeah, in the group chat, literally, like Lila said some crazy shit. Like, I have his number, I'll text him right now. <laughs> and I go, do it. Show show me his number. Just no, show it to me. No, Brooke goes, No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you fucking don't. And Crickets. it was the funniest shit ever because she doesn't have his number. Because she absolutely did not have his number. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, that's like one thing with our friend group is like the men of it all. I feel like it's very I, difficult. Well, it looks, de- it, it sounds horrible and Tana and I kind of touch on, on this all the time, but it's like, it seems like we just fucking pass them around like a hot potato. Uh-huh. And that's not the case. It's just so, there's so fucking many of what us. What I just want to know is like, dude, like, do these guys feel like they're loving the crew? Like, is that how they feel? Like, or do they even think Maybe, about that? Maybe, but, but I, like, am I doing the same? Like, am well, I loving their crew? And are they just, like, seeing, like, like our friend group is, like, just a bunch of holes? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like, is that what they see us as? Like, I hope yeah. not. I really hope not. There's more than meets the eye. Sound off in the comments. If you think we're holes. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, this has been a beautiful episode. I am so sorry that we are not in London because we did not catch the invite. I'm going to be so honest. We just didn't get invited. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm so happy our friends are having fun over in Europe. And I can't wait to see you guys back here next week. Hopefully. 
Thank you so much, Amari, for joining <laughs> us. Thank you so much, Isabella, for your commentary. Nobody, nobody even here thinks you are a lesbian. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like a stunt double right now for Tana. Like, yeah, well, you guys look exactly the same. Everyone says yeah, that. Yeah, and I've always said that. Anyway, we love you. Um, like subscribe or something. I don't know. I don't. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cancelled. We'll see you next week. I'll just be on the sidelines next time because who knows? They're probably going to price it after this episode. But follow my fans. <laughs> subscribe. True. Stay true. God sent me here. God sent everyone here, and that's it.